Hello fellow viewers, welcome back, Victus here, and here we are again in Tardom's Total War. As you may remember, we are now besieging Kalipolis. We have taken Vydestos, and right now we are about to win the civil war once and for all. So let's get on with it, and we're going to fight this amazing battle that is going to give glory to the Roman Empire and the Cantacuzenos. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all, victory! The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. So let me pause here because right now we can see that they are opening the gates. Now this is a very... A uh, small settlement in which it's a little bit interesting how these guys have the wooden palisade here. Inside there are the barracks and stuff. And we have a small central area with a small castle in here. So it's going to be very easy to take this. Because right now we have in this area up in here uh, the great emperor coming uh, to the... To save the day now i am pretty sure we're seeing them uh, over there so i'm going to move this guy first of all i'm going to move this guy back now we can see this guy here but i could go and attack him but i'm not going to do that i'm going to run all over here and then i'm going to go up and that way we're going to move over here so let's get on with it so we have the reinforcements coming so it's time for uh, these uh, batates to move along the um, the area. Now I'm pretty sure. Now what what is this? These guys are trying to attack us. These are cavala cavalieroi cavalieroi, which is some sort of a word to say cava cavalero. Okay, let's move these guys here. So we're going to follow this general until he reinforces okay they are going to decide that they're going to do a battle there so that's okay let's continue the, the marching here What are these? Uh, these are the Tascones. Sadly, I am not brave enough to charge against them because I know that this, this guy is going to die if we do that. So now let's see what we are going to do here because we need to put the, um, these guys in here. So we're going to place the archers here. The Peltastois, I'm going to place them here. And then we take all of these guys. Now the center, I'm going to try to place the center a little bit uh, loose. Then the sides. Like this. Oh yeah, they are bringing the siege machines. Let's drop the machines. Actually, let's move this guy here. Now, look at this beautiful sight that we have there. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Oh, what do we got here? These are the Lancers. Look at this. Now, let's stop this. Go, 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 go. Don't do that. Charge that guy. Now it's the time for the... Wait. Let's pull them back here. We 
We can defeat them. These are Toxo ties. So let's take the Toxo ties here. We're going to move these guys to the front. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we have the Lancers. They are trying to route one of uh, one or two of our units. Let's going to move them here. Take these guys over here. I simply don't want them to shoot the their, is in our favor. their if pillow. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. There we go. There they are. Okay. We're done with those guys. They're still running away there. Okay, run away, you cowards. Okay, so let's take the Peltastois over here. And now we're going to take these guys. Let's form in here now. As I was saying, look look how beautiful this is now. I'm going to say that it's really impressive how this game is so old, but it has this type of um, feeling. I don't know what what is it, but this game was made with so much love that we can see and feel the the how 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 medieval it is. Okay, these guys are trying to to do something here. So what I'm going to do is to not use the skirmish and start shooting at these guys. So let's see. We got here peasant archers. Here we have spearmen. I would prefer to use the spearmen. And, and with this guy, I would like to go and charge here. Okay, let's move these guys like this. Okay, here is the... The peasants. There you go. Here's the charge of the cataphractoids. There we go. Let's pull back, let's pull back, let's pull back. Pull back, pull back. The battle is go. in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, what is this? These are the Toxotai. Still using the Toxotai to hit at these guys here. To hit at the spearmen. What is this? A bodyguard. Okay, let's use this. So he's charging, he's, um, sadly he's charging against the Tsakones, Marines. These guys are very tough. Okay, let's move these guys here. So what is happening here? Still have the Toxotai here. Gonna try to get a little bit of Spearman. What is this? Okay. Now these guys, they should... They should not move like that. What is this? Units! 
Okay, these are spearmen. Let's charge. Here we see the charge of the... We, we have the upper... The upper ground. So we're clearly winning. These are Toxotai enemies. So I'm going to use this guy to charge against them. Uh, sadly, we have more, more of these guys here. So let me move this here. Okay, let's start shooting Only these guys here. The enemy force remains. So I'm going to charge against these guys. No, these guys should not... There we go. Spearmen against archers is very good. Now let me take the archers here. Okay, here we have again the Peltastois. So let's reform. Okay, let's charge against these guys. Let's Let's bring the general bodyguard here. Let's see if we can do something something good. I could charge in here. Okay, let me move these guys. Charging here. Mhm. Mm going to do the following. I'm going to take the ge the the general here. Okay, let me do this. These guys are warmed up. Just going to move these guys here. The archers are going to continue against the other archers. Okay, let's charge here. They won't be able to do anything against us. So now... Okay, these guys are broken. So we can throw these guys here. And we can start throwing our commander here. Now we don't want the general to die in here. So let's see. What are those? It's our broken, so we're going to continue with this. We're going to encircle these guys. Now let's see what we can do here. Let's throw these guys here. Here as well. Oh, they managed to bring these guys here. Glorious heaven there above. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, what do we got here? Let's charge against these peasants. So here goes the Emperor. No, the Emperor is here actually. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, we're having a little bit of a glitch here, but it's okay. What do we got here? The Tzacones there? These are enemy Tzacones? I believe so. No, this is not good. Okay, let's bring the, the general here. Blessed! The enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiot to hell! Yeah, of course. What is this? Sim Basileus Demetrius is dead right now. And Johannes Apocaucus. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, these guys are going to protect the, the Emperor. And we really need a lot of archers to come down. Because we're in a precarious situation right now. They are trying to take the general here. Here we have uh, that guy there. So we're going to send these guys down.
Okay. Let's charge against these guys. You are not going to touch the general. For Rome and the glory of Rome. And and down here we see all the all the army coming in in into the fight to save the general the, the emperor. Okay, now it's time for the emperor to just run away. So now we'll bring all of these guys here. And now we can move these guys here. Now these guys are running away, right? Okay, apparently I cannot zoom in too close because we're going to have that glitch. Okay, there we go. Here they come. Now the general is safe. And the archers, look at this. So now let's charge you with this guy. Rome. Now these guys are a little bit of exhausted. the general here. Generals for the guard. Attack quickly. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, that's it. At least well our gen our our emperor is very tired. There you can see the emperor. John Cantacusenos, so let's charge. Units. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. A great victory indeed. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. So look at this guy. There are just 116 guys remaining inside the city and Demetrius and Ioannis Apokaukos they have been they have been slain by our our brave soldiers. Hiding our forces from enemy eyes, my lord. Glorious battle indeed. We captured Ioannis Apokaukos. We captured him. We could ransom him. Let's see if they are yes, going to pay. You know that the ransom was accepted and Ioannis Apokaukos. Excellent news. The enemy has agreed to pay your ransom and have sent emissaries with the required sum of money in exchange for the safe return of Ioannis Apokalkos. So as a good emperor that we are, we had to do that. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. And this Lord is... Lord, we have conquered. Yeah, this is great news because we have conquered Kalipolis and... Basically, this means that we have we have won. The settlement has fallen to the might of your army. Victory is yours, and the fate of the settlement lies on your hands. I could just go bang a few heads, or just go and just walk in. We're going to loot very, very little amount of uh, money. 
but I think we're going to do this just to walk in. And there we are. We have beaten the actual campaign in a few turns, indeed. Basically, we made it. Now, what, what is he doing? Is he going to attack me there? No, I don't think so. He's able to reach me there. Now, what, what is he doing? Ah, he's returning. So yeah, the Regency has been defeated. So in the next turn, we, we win. We win Constantinople. There you go. Now, the fate of that settlement down there, we don't know. We don't know what happened with it. Because that settlement was captured by the Turks. Okay. So the empire is restored. You can see the flag here. There's a great victory here. This is an auspicious day. An auspicious day indeed. Now that the Imperial Palace of Blahernai in Constantinople, outer city, is surrounded by loyal armies the Regency is in a hopeless situation. The once mighty Megas Dukes and Eparch of Constantinople, Alexios Apokalkos, the Ecumenical, Ecumenical Patriarch Ioannes, the 14th Kalekas himself and the Empress Mother Anna of Savoy are at your feet begging for their lives. The Regents and all their subordinates are pleading for your forgiveness swearing unquestionable loyalty to the one and true regent and co-emperor of the civilized world. Rejoice, for the people of the Roman Empire are happy again. The deadful civil war between us has ended, and a new era, more prosperous and greater than ever, has begun. So yeah, that is it. The Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Hungary have announced an alliance. Then we have a lot of increased trades from Manuel Cantacuzenos, Manuel Strategopoulos Cantacuzenos, Johannes Asanes, Manuel Asanes, Manuel Apocaucos. These are the guys that have um, that have reached into our faction that were part of the Regency. Now, 
this this is interesting because this guy because of the battle that we fought here he gained this um he gained one point in, in chivalry because he's a well-meaning warrior still prone to barbaric ways but he's getting into the into the chivalry thing okay we detected an an agent here and then we have financially the balance of power is now in between these Venice, the Turks, Hungary, Naples, the Kingdom of Hungary. And of course, we don't have enough money. We have 43, but we're going to gain a lot right now. Now, because of the of the celebrations, we were unable to read this uh, event that happened. This is the event that represents the beginning of the Black Death. So I'm going to read the event. It's called the Galleys of the Dying. So it happened that in October of the year of the Lord 1347, 12 Genoese galleys fleeing the wrath that was brought down upon them due to their iniquity arrived at the port city of Messina. The chronicler Michel di Piazza recorded the arrival of the plague in Sicily in his Historia Secula ab Anno 1337 ad Annum 1361. The Genoese were immediately banned, but the infection remained in the city of the Strait, and the same happened in major commercial ports of the Mediterranean. So now that we have won, and we are victorious in Rome, has been restored. In the meantime, Johannes Cantacuzenos, which is now the Basileus Romaion, is now being celebrated in Constantinople. We're going to have a look at what we have gained. Well, as you can see, we have gained a lot of troops. We can see a lot of guys here. We see Orders. a captain over here in Thrace. Yes. We see Simbasuleos Ioannes. Now, this guy over here is the actual guy that was part of the Regency. He is of the house of the Palaiologoi. He has this uh, Globus Cruziger. Uh, interesting to note is that we have gained control on him. Then we have, of course, Obviously, we noted right now that this place has been taken by the Turks. Because I'm pretty sure that this has been taken by the Turks. Because if we see this, if we click, if we do the, the normal, you know, the normal trick. When you want to know what is the, this, what is the region owner, you can uh, simply right click and you will see the name of the, or at least the um, symbol. We can see that Turks have taken this. But we have gained control over Mitilene. We have gained control over here, nothing. Uh, over here, we have gained control over Palaio Castro in this area. Uh, we can see over here, nothing. Well, actually, that's it. So we have gained control over these two places. Mitilene and Palaio Castro. Now let's have a look at diplomacy. We're still at the war with the Tsardom of Bulgaria and the Tsardom of Serbia. The turn is turn number five and we have achieved victory. Now we see here that the Bulgarians are besieging here. That's something that we already know. Over here we see these guys that are running from here. And then of course the area of Saloniki is still in the hands of the of the rebels, Selets. And finally here we know that the that the Serbs run away from us. And that's it. We have the Emperor's Matthias Emperor's son Matthias. Matthias Cantacuzenos, which is the heir. 
over here. So yeah, that is basically what we have gained. Let's see who are the new additions here. And these guys are the guys that we already know. Alexis Raules, Nikephoros Orsini. We have down here... Manuel Filantropenos, this guy. This is the guy that we have been. This is one of those. This guy is the of the house of the Filantropenos. Apparently the governor of this island. Johannes Demetrio Palalogios. Who do I face? He is down here in Mitilene. Then we have Michael Filantropenos. Yes? This guy is located in Constantinople. Now he has this Peltastai. Ah, these guys are the Englino Varangoi guard, which is the Varangian guard. Apparently we are now able to recruit Varangian guard. Look at all these troops that we can recruit. We have the option of the Varangian guard, of course. We have Latin crossbowmen. These are the normal crossbowmen. Sangratores. Ah, and this one. This is the Siphonatoris. This is some sort of a very... Very mysterious weapon. It's like a very archaic flamethrower. So this is a very interesting unit. These are elite urban professor professional and these guys look very fun to play with so then we have the the lancers here the alforats light cavalry surgeons of the aragonese armies okay interesting we have the option as well to recruit uh, a lot of uh, different ships Kelandion, war galleys, priests, we have the Kelandion Osikong, Venetian colonial archers, we have the Cuman horse archers, and what else do we have? Italian spear militia, the German spearmen, and Murat Murtatoi guard archers. These are these are some sort of uh, superior urban professional archers. The nobles, of course, and the lancers. So, the last the last note. Sifonatores is uh, uh, apparently the the thing that they throw is this thing uh, called Greek fire so it's a uh, pretty pretty amazing that this thing was included in here and so having a look at Constantinopolis we see that we have a neighbor here which is the Genoese a nice neighbor here in the area here called called Galata uh, and another thing is that we have a lot of agents we gain a lot of bishops My Lord. we have a bishop here Prokoros Kidones, we already had it. We have Someone the diplomat here, which is uh, Demetrios Kidones. The assassin that is the right program. now over Bul Bulgaria. God's this is new. Fi Philotheos Kokinos, Kalistos Constantino Con Constantinopuleos. This is new. Ioannes Kalekas. This was the, the guy that was... Uh, helping Anna of Savoy. We gained as well Nicolaos Philanthropenos and Arcadios Thermokaites. A lot of things. A lot of interesting things. Indeed, we are going to regain a lot of money in the next turn. So there's a lot to do, a lot to think. As the Emperor, we we have the opportunity to execute the guys that were uh, doing 
the the coup but i think that this is going to be left for another chapter now a few things to say before ending i can say that it's amazing this mod is really amazing it has a lot of uh, opportunities to make a lot of alternate history and we know that we managed to reach to the actual moment in the history that Johannes Cantacuzenus managed to gain control over the over the civil war 1347 and we have 366 turns remaining so this is a lot of turns that we have and there's a lot of opportunity to expand and to perhaps even regain control over the historical areas that were dominated by the Roman Empire. There's a lot to do if you want to go into that direction and I am doubting if it's possible to achieve the, the historical borders at the end of this amount of turns. It could be interesting to try that in uh, at some point i have done the roman empire in rome too i have made it in imperator rome and those are very difficult very difficult uh, challenges and i see a big challenge here to regain control and not fall uh, at the year that historically the roman collapsed so with that being said, I hope this was very enjoyable for you and you had a very good time. Help the channel by giving a like so that the algorithm could spread the channel over, over YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you like my content. So this was Victus. See you in the next one.